I've been utterly addicted to the world ends with you, but I have to record, I have to record, so... Stuff. Little kitty. Little kitty. Why do your whiskers extend so far? Mew mew. Meow. <laughs> no. Me meow mew. Would that work better? Huh? Hmm. Or should it be me meow? This is a lot harder than I thought. But I feel like this phrase is essential to the poem. I need to think about this more. Jesus. Where... Where's my poem? Huh? Don't tell me that. Oh, gee. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Uh, um, excuse me. That's actually mine. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I was jotting down some things when the wind suddenly... He didn't see anything, right? Please tell me he didn't read it. My poem. Uh, I'm so embarrassed. I can't even look him in the face. Is this yours? You really have to be careful with this wind. I... I'm so sorry. I, I was... Um... Is this your first year here? A new cadet, perhaps? Uh, um, yes. That's correct. Oh, wow. You're the student body president, Jin Kisaragi. A cute young man speaking before her class. It didn't take long for the girls to start fussing over him. <laughs> Saya? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. And you are? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm Noel Vermilion, a first year here. So you're Noel Vermilion. I've heard of you. You were ranked the highest on the Ars Magus aptitude test. That's pretty impressive. Oh no, y you've got it all wrong. That seems to be the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> ah, I've lost track of time. I'm sorry, but I need to excuse myself. M Mr. Kisaragi? Hmm? Is there something else? Do you think you could give me back that piece of paper? Oh, this. Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Sorry, it got crumpled. Oh! Uh. Mister? It's nothing. Later. I yes. Goodbye. <sighs> That was scary! I never thought I would run into THE Jin Kisaragi in a place like this! Hmm... But I wonder what was wrong. He looked really irritated. Did I accidentally bother him in some way? Oh. What was that? Uh, not again. My head. It hurts. Don't remind me of that. Uh, I feel sick. Huh? Are you okay? Huh? Oh, yes. I'm fine. Thank you. Can you stand? Here, I'll give you a hand. I'm so sorry to cause you trouble. I believe you're supposed to thank someone who helped you, not apologize to them. Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I mean, thank you. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Tsubaki. Tsubaki Yayoi. 
Yes, I'm Noelle Vermillion. My prospective roommate. I look forward to spending time with you. Yes, me too. Um, you said your name was Yayoi, but you don't mean the Yayoi family of the Duodecim, do you? Mm hmm. Yes, that's right. Uh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Um, Noelle? I, I can call you Noelle, right? Don't concern yourself about families or backgrounds or anything. After all, we're attending the same academy, right? You're right. I'm sorry. Like I said, you don't have to apologize. Okay, so now I s I'm starting to see a pattern. mind not blocking the entrance? Oh, I'm so sorry! You're our other roommate, right? <sighs> it's nice to meet you. I'm Tsubaki Yayoi. Yeah, I figured as much from looking at the dorm assignment sheet. You're the daughter of the Duodecim, right? Huh? I'm Nanaya. Nanaya? <sighs> Get out of the way. Uh, Whoa, what? <laughs> Where are you going? There's a mandatory orientation for all the new students. Ah. Uh. Nanaya? Um, do you mind? Oh my goodness. We've only got ten minutes. What would you like to do, Noel? If you're really not feeling well, then I can tell our RA. I'm fine. I can make it. What's going? I see. Well then, shall we be on our way? We wouldn't want to be late on our first day. There are going to be a lot more obstacles ahead of us, you know. Yes. You're not an obstacle, it's okay. Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. Ugh. Oh no! Did you scrape your knee? Miss Nania, I didn't expect your blood to be red. Oh, this is what she meant! What a pleasant surprise! <laughs> <sighs> How disgraceful. These humans who seek out those weaker and harass them so they can sustain their pathetic identities. They mistake the power that comes only in numbers for their own. Your eyes bad or something? Need some money for glasses? What? How dare you? What makes you think we need to accept charity from the likes of you, you beastkin? You're right. It's your face that needs charity. I'm not sure if I can do anything about that. What was that? You better take that back! <laughs> Seriously? Blood's red too, huh? Your heart's so black, I was honestly expecting something else. <laughs> what? What? You bitch! What's going on here? Settle down. You're injured. What happened? It was Nanaya. She. Nanya pushed her over and she got hurt. Nanaya did? We didn't even do anything to her. <laughs> you mean you couldn't do anything, right? Is this true, Nanaya? Who knows? Answer my question! What's your problem? You're just gonna barge in and yell at the top of your voice? Who put you in power anyway? Fair enough. I apologize for raising my voice. But violence really isn't the answer. Oh, the good old violence speech, huh? Yes, yes, I know. I was bad. It's the Beeskin's fault, right? Always the Beeskin. Now, can we just get on with our lives? Nania. What's with your attitude? You owe us an apology. You, you, she? Um. I 
saw the whole thing. Oh, really? Then why don't you tell us exactly what you saw? Hmm? We're the ones with the injuries here. It's that savage who's at fault. Why are we still having this discussion? But, but I saw it with my own eyes. Nanaya is not the one at fault. Are you seriously siding with this barbarian? What was your name again? Noel Vermillion? Vermillion? I've never even heard of that family. Mind your place. You shouldn't even be speaking to us. Nor should you, nor should you be speaking but like I a to just... I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I wasn't talking to you, Noel. Huh? I suggest you take a good look at yourselves in a mirror. You'll see an ugly face staring back at you. What? Oh, I can't even stand the sight of your deformed mouths from all the foul language and your sunken eyes from looking down at others. I truly feel sorry for your so-called family name. Ah, uh, that's all you care about, right? One's heritage and species? Then why don't you all just leave and go ponder how lucky you are? <gasps> that was uncalled for! Just cause you're a duodecim! Indeed! I am a member of one of the twelve families in the duodecim. Which is why I choose my actions carefully. I do not wish to smear the image of my family. The duodecim does not exist to oppress others. Under the order of the Librarium and Imperator, we are to sustain peace and order in the world. We want to create a world that's free of conflict. The Duodecim is at the front lines of this struggle, and we must set the example for others. At least, that's what I like to believe. Can I leave now? Nanaya? Nanaya! I need to disappear. If I just disappear, then there will be no more problems. <sighs> What's the sigh for, Tsubaki? Jin, I actually wanted to ask you something. It's about Nanaya. Yeah, her punishment was actually decided a little while ago. Huh? Punishment? A three-day suspension. She picked a fight with the wrong person, the daughter of a noble family. But she didn't do anything wrong. How can you be so sure? Did you see it with your own eyes? No, but I can kind of tell. That girl isn't the type who would hurt someone. A beast can, huh? Her Ars Magus aptitude is average, but her physical tests are off the charts. She would have no problem taking on a group of two or three people. But I'm telling you, she isn't the kind of person to use violence. That's not what I was trying to say, Tsubaki. She's good, and that's why I'm relieved. Are you friends? Right now, we're just classmates. And, well, roommates, but... You want to become friends? Yes. Then just talk to her honestly. Talk? I'm sure they understand, and I don't need to put it into words. Those are just misconceptions. A fantasy, Tsubaki. People will never get the real message unless you say it out loud. Even if those words end up being lies, you just have to figure out why they felt it was necessary to lie. What's most important is the communication is actually taking place. Communication? I suppose you're right. I haven't really talked to her in that way. I just always thought she understood me and that was it. It's not too late. Just tell her exactly what you just told me. It's a start. Jin... Thank you. What happened to you, Jin? You're not as- you weren't so cold, like... What happened to you? You were always like this, and I know this. What the fuck happened to Ikara got to turn you into the person you are now? I'm going to go talk to her now. Okay. But Tsubaki... In the end... It's impossible to truly understand anyone other than yourself. Everything you see, they're all lies. That is not a lie. Nanaya! 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 
Are you okay? Do you want to rest, Noel? Don't worry about me. We need to find Nanaya. You're right. We are still on the Military Academy campus, but it's getting dark. Could be dangerous. Where could she have gone? Someone said that they saw her run into this forest. There's no time to confirm that. We need to act now. Yeah, you're right. Tsubaki, is something the matter? Hey, Noel, I was wondering, why do you always talk to me like I'm nobility? Huh? We're classmates, after all. Doesn't it feel strange? Uh, I'm sorry. It's just I... And you're apologizing again. Huh? I'm sorry. Excuse me. All of your words, Noel, imply you've done something wrong and need to repent. It makes me feel as though I'm blaming you for something when I'm really not. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again! <laughs> well, no matter. We can continue this discussion later. Right now, we need to find Nania. You're right. I'm so- Don't! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> look, you even made me apologize now. But really, I didn't mean to laugh at you. Uh, um... Because your face <laughs> looked like this rabbit my friend had when we were small. Aww. R rabbit <laughs> Yes, those big shiny eyes. They're so adorable. But that's... <laughs> Aww, did I make you blush? Did I? N no, you didn't. Don't lie to me. Your ears are as red as a cherry. No, I wasn't. You've got it all wrong. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there you go. That's more like how a friend would talk. Huh? Oh. You're even cuter than that rabbit when you smile. You, you didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, don't pick on me. <laughs> Noel, wait! I refuse to. Uh, I won't! Noel, stop! There's a. Watch out! Huh? Oh, fuck. I, I'm falling! Noel! Huh? Wait, what? Oh, no. <sighs> uh, ow! What? It doesn't hurt. Huh? What's going on? I, I thought we fell. Ugh. Can you get off of me? Huh? Huh? What? Uh. Uh, why are we sitting on top of Nanaya? Uh, I, I, I'm so sorry. Are you all right, Nanaya? I like the air. L look at the mouths. Ugh. Die. Wait, do you mean you... you took the blow for us? Really? Wrong. I got caught. A accidentally. Uh -huh. But your tail acted as a cushion. That's why we're unharmed from the fall. Mm. Nania, we actually wanted to talk to you. What? Noelle. S sorry. Uh, but aren't you guys cold at all? Now that you mention it. I don't feel the effect of Ars Magus anymore. Did we fall through the artificial ecosystem? We're in the lower levels of the city, the abandoned district. I doubt any of that hocus pocus Ars Magus would reach here. Wait, what? Artificial ecosystem? It's freezing. This isn't good. If the artificial ecosystem isn't working, then. Oh, thank goodness. The Seether isn't too thick here. But the temperature will just keep dropping. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Noelle? Get a hold of yourself, Noelle. Um, why don't you come over here? Huh? Hold on to my tail. It's pretty warm, see? So sorry. Uh, I wasn't expecting an apology. 
Uh... Noel, Nania, wait here. I'll go find a way out. Hey, now just wait a second. What? You sprained your ankle, right? I wouldn't push myself too hard if I were you. Uh, are you all right? <sighs> Could you seriously stop that? Always trying to endure all the pain yourself? It's kind of annoying. Then I'll say, you're pretty annoying yourself. Oi! Uh, huh? If only I weren't here. As long as I endure the pain, everything will solve itself. It's just like that incident in the classroom. That's how you live your life, isn't it? Uh, huh. Th that, that has nothing to do with you. What I do is up to me. Nanaya. I just like staying out of trouble. So I was correct then. Huh? That is how you feel. I had a feeling that was the case. But I wanted to ask you directly. I no longer wish to just feel or think that was the case. You mean to tell me you just took a stab in the dark? No. It was an educated guess. I observed you and analyzed the data before I came to that conclusion. Observed me? Why would you do that? Because I'm interested in you, of course. You're interested in me? Is it because I'm a squirrel, Beeskin? Huh? Nania, you're a squirrel type? Are you serious? You just figured that out? <laughs> what? Oh, so that's why your tail is so big and fluffy. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> you couldn't tell from my tail? Well, I've never really seen a bee skin before, so I... And I've never seen a real squirrel either. That's got nothing to do with it. I'm completely different from you guys. What's so different about you? Different? Uh... Difference. What a fucking question. Wow. I'm not. I'm not different from anyone else. I'm not. I want to be the same. I just wanted to be the same. Nanaya? What? Why is she crying? N Noelle, you made her cry. Apologize to her. But you told me I shouldn't apologize anymore. <laughs> there is always an appropriate time and place for apologies. This is one of them. Uh, I get it. You're right. Um... I don't need your apology. Uh huh? You've done nothing you should apologize for, Noelle. Nanaya? If you say so, Nania, then why are you crying? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe all the feelings I've had bottled up inside of me came out at once, and it was too much to bear. I hated myself, and the way I acted around others. Oh, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean, Nanaya. Whenever bad things happen to me, I just wash it all away by crying. It makes me feel so much better. So that's why I hear sobbing noises late at night. What? No! What? You mean you knew? Come on. Even Damn! I knew. Wait, at night? So that's a, that's a regular occurrence? What? Oh no! That's just so embarrassing! Um, I've been meaning to tell you, but... Honestly, it's pretty creepy. So do you think you could stop it with the crying thing? Yeah, I don't think the bed is the best place. S -s sorry You apologized again. What? But wasn't that an appropriate time? I suppose it was. Yes, it was. I'm so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Tsubaki, is that you? Jin? Whoa. Who is that person? <laughs> he looks so awesome! <laughs> It's Jin. He came to help us. Wait, Nania, you mean you don't even know the student body president? So he's the Jin all the girls have been talking about, huh? <sighs> Hang on, I'll get help right away. Okay. Well, at least you girls are all right. I fail to see the humor. 
In case you didn't notice, I'm not pleased right now. S sorry I will now give you your punishment. The outcome was decided by the entire student council, so don't bother trying to appeal. What? Noelle and Tsubaki have to be punished too? They didn't do anything wrong. I'll take all the punishment. Besides, I I'm used to that sort of thing anyway. Did you not hear me? You're all guilty and there are no appeals here. The three of you will all receive the same punishment. Same? For the next week. You three are responsible for all the dormitory's cafeteria duties. Help each other out, okay? <sighs> Your response? Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes! Whoa. That was a weird thing. Jin, thank you very much. Did you say something, Tsubaki? N no, nothing. Speaking of which, Noelle, how skilled are you with cooking? Um, I guess I'm... Sort of confident. That sounds promising. No. What about you, Tsubaki? A little. I have some interest for it. What about you, Nania? Um. Hmm? Nania, what's the matter? Allow me to introduce myself. Huh? What are you talking about? We already did introductions a long time ago. When you first came to Wait, our room. Allow me to. Oh, hold on. Actually, let me do something. Let me pause this for a second. Okay. I was just having some, uh. Y yeah. <laughs> I'm Makoto Nanaya. Please feel free to call me Makoto. Huh? huh? Makoto? Wait, your name's Makoto? I thought Nanaya was your first name all along. What? Why did you keep quiet about it? <laughs> if you looked at the roll call sheet, you could have figured that out instantly. <laughs> what? You you have to put it into words so people will know. Makoto? I see. Makoto, huh? Well, I hope we can become really great friends, Makoto. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to that, Noelle. Tsubaki? It's my pleasure, Makoto. Noelle? Friends! 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 friends. <laughs> oh, jeez, let me look at that again. Ah, uh, it's done. No, no, I'm not done. Hold on. I'm not done with story mode yet. Calm down. I need this. That was shorter than I expected. Okay. Uh, let me go to the gallery. Oh shit, level 11. Nice. That means I could unlock a few more characters, I think. What am I missing? Ragna, Hakumen, Hasama, and Mu. But I have an unlimited taker. Okay. That is, this is the one I wanted to try most. The middle race is also pretty fun. The fuck it. Okay, hold on. I need to save how much? 12k, so I can't technically really use much. Okay, I get it here. There you go. Oh. Maybe I'll look at the- Oh my god, that's so sexy. Uh. Uh. Long ago, and I got- Ahem. <laughs> Why does every single one have- Oh. The eyes just kill me every time. Okay. Don't seem to be lacking anywhere, although it might be slightly augmented in the illustration. I should have played with them a little more. Uh, never mind. <laughs> okay, I want to unlock all of this shit, honestly. Oh shit, what? I guess I skipped it, didn't I? Okay. But I pulled away from Calamity Trigger, so I don't need to do this. This is what I want to look at. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, okay, I'm bored then. Although... Let me just try the one thing. Play set your character. Yeah, see, it's locked in certain characters. Okay. The characters look so weird. Like, over here is all of Calamity Trigger. Like, where's Mu? Where's Mu? Is she not playable? Or do I have to unlock her somehow? Because I know Mu, Mu is in this game. I battled. I battled her. I'm confused now. Okay, whatever. Uh, I am Tager. Let me just like. Willius Clover. Wait, no wait. There you go. I am Tager. Willius Clover. Let me go to. To here. That's pretty cool. Wait, no, no. no. Let me go to the Kaka village. Wait, no. Let me go here and then. Let me put Motorhead, yeah, sure. Oh, Jesus Christ. I have two charges of this. No, I think the problem with- <laughs> This is what kills me the most in this. What? Why can he do this? He has a double jump! What? Don't think so. Three point four. Plasma! Don't think so. Gigantic! You have nowhere to run! I do have mechanic wait, I do have gas figure? Wait, I killed him. Shit. Do I actually have a gadget finger? Don't think so. Gigantic! You have nowhere to run! I do? Take this! You have nowhere to no. run! Plasma! Take you got this! You have nowhere to run! I do! I just have to Don't hold so. it! Gigantic! Take this! You have nowhere to run! Huh! Don't think so. Interesting! Gigantic! You have nowhere to run! But it doesn't combo. What? <laughs> it doesn't come up with Didn't your master wind you up? <laughs> Don't think so. It doesn't combo with grab. Gigantic! You have nowhere to because run! It's ca because it counts as a grab in the next game it counts as a physical hit. You have nowhere to run! Wait no, it is physical. What? You have nowhere to run! <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, they buffed him. No No. What? Okay, we're done. I'm sorry, sorry. I just wanted to, just wanted to see Didn't this. Your master wind you up? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I just wanted to see the fucking unlimited tiger. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done.